After three months of heavy clashes between the rebels in Yemen, the United Nations announced an unconditional week-long ceasefire in Yemen, where more than 80% of the country's 25 million people are believed to be in need of some form of emergency aid. The United Nations announced the ceasefire would start on Friday, July 10, 12 a.m. local time, and take effect until the end of Ramadan, on July 17, so aid agencies could deliver urgently required humanitarian assistance. Hours after the week-long truce was supposed to come into effect, Saudi Arabia did not recognize the truce, and Arab coalition led airstrikes and ground fighting were reported in Yemen. Saudi-led air raids killed 21 civilians, destroyed 15 houses, and injured 45 others in Yemen's capital, Sana'a. The spokesperson of the Saudi coalition announced in the morning of Friday that this truce does not concern them, it does not interest them, and they will not abide by it. While the country is torn by war and the truce has been broken, Takfiri militants who are trained by the Saudis take advantage of the unrest. Just this week, in a car bomb explosion that happened outside a mosque in Sana'a, at least two people were killed and six wounded. ISIL claimed responsibility for the explosion. As they say, enemies of one are friends themselves, and while there is absolutely no doubt about ISIL and Saudi Arabia's friendship, they never fail to prove it themselves. Breaking the truce by the Saudis shows that not only do they have no respect for the lives of the civilians, but they don't even respect the international community and the United Nations. It seems that the Saudis, who claim themselves as Muslims, don't even uphold the basic beliefs shared among Muslims as to keep their promise of truce in the holy month of Ramadan. Shedding the blood of innocent civilians who share the same religion, let alone being innocent, is something that can never be forgiven. And not only is Saudi Arabia involved in such atrocities, but ISIL is helping them side by side.